You may be thinking, why do I need to work on my left foot? I think it's just such a valuable tool to have if a coach is putting you up against another player and you can kick off both feet. It's a massive asset to have. So make sure you get through these left foot reps. Getting into left footed grubbers now. So with my hand placement, I want my left hand slightly lower from doing a left foot kick. Ball's gonna start in my midline and we're gonna push it out into my hip line. So midline out into my left hip line to make contact. Wanna hit that 45 degree angle again. Nice and balanced pre-kick, push it out. Get that ball rolling. You can start nice and easy with these. You don't have to be kicking the ball too hard. Push it out. Get that ball rolling. Last one. Momentum through after the kick. Next exercise is our 30 degree drop kick. So same as last week, we want to set ourselves on 30 degrees and get on this ball nice and quick. Focus on finishing the job and then getting your foot back down to ground. But take momentum through forward. So get through your set on your right foot. And now I'm going to force you guys to work on your non-dominant foot. So you might get a couple of really ugly drop kicks here. But as you build through this program, you will get consistency. Just stick with it. So 30 degrees for my left foot. Same thing. I want to put the ball, my left hand slightly lower for this ball drop. Next kick after the drop kicks is our punt kick. We want to be hitting these up at ball drop two. So remember ball drop, so that's one, two, and three. We want to be hitting these at two. So this is the big distance, big hang time, like your e exit kick in rugby. So same thing with your approach. Want to be back on 30 degrees. Nice strike, finish the job, momentum through. Ball drop, midline to hip line. For the purpose of this, I'll just go straight to the left foot. So you guys got to sit on your right, sit on your left. Same thing though with this left foot, 30 degree approach, ball drop two. 